top three Disney. Disney. Oh, sorry. Put your hand there. Today, we're going to think about our favorite resort restaurants. So these are restaurants in Walt Disney World that are located at the various resorts. And just before we start, I want to make sure everybody knows, you don't have to stay at a resort to eat at their restaurant. You guys are distracting. Sorry, Max is distracting. I know, we're trying to get the cat in the picture. <laughs> it's not working. Anyway, if you're going to Disney World, you don't, even ha you don't even have to be staying on property. You can eat at any of these places we're about to tell you about, about which we are going to tell you. There you go. Proper grammar. Okay. Yeah, you should start with me because I am, I have to be the restaurant guru. I mean, when it comes to eating. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, great cuisine. I mean, I am the. I have to be the ultimate critic in great cuisine. No. Um, disclaimer. What? Matt eats like a three-year-old. <laughs> what? <laughs> so. So do I. In fact, we'll just lay the disclaimer out right now. Our whole family. Tyson probably has the best taste <laughs> when it comes to food. We are not high fashion eaters. What? No, honey. No? No. Oh. Uh, this is the man when we ate at... <laughs> what was that restaurant in Disneyland? I don't know. The, Ask Dean it, Westman about the story Ask sometime. Dean Westman the story. It's a he'll, very he'll, fancy he'll restaurant. He'll tell you the story and uh, he's, he's always glad to tell it. Kind of like Victoria and Albert's at Disney World. It was like that at Disneyland and Matt asked for the kids menu. <laughs> <laughs> Which, with, with Tommy Lasorda. <laughs> Sitting right next Tommy to Tommy Lasorda was in the restaurant. And Matt was asking was for like, the kids. Can I have some mac and cheese? <laughs> <laughs> I know. So take that for what it's worth. Our restaurant choices are mostly experience-based, atmosphere-based. We are not connoisseurs in any way. All right, and on that note, Matt, you want to get us started? Sure. <laughs> well, I will, I'm going to start with California Grill. <laughs> California Grill at the Contemporary. Um, that's on top of the contemporary. So you, what the best part about that um, restaurant is um, the view. The food's great too. It's it, um, even you know for <laughs> a meat and potatoes guy like me, <laughs> um, I can find something there that I could eat, I could eat and all that. So, um, but the view, um, it looks over the lagoon. You could see Magic Kingdom. You can see the Grand Floridian and uh, Polynesian and all that. The first time we went there with Michael and uh, Leon May, were, uh, that's that's when I was like, we, you know, we got to get in a DVC. <laughs> so um, he so, yeah. called me from in that restaurant to yeah. say we need to look into this Disney vacation. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, um, they recently changed the menu. So I remember going there one, one the marathon weekend one time, mm -hmm. and. Um, Got a lot more food there uh, than I would normally get. Um, I couldn't tell you anything specific on, hey, get this. I mean, I would probably get a steak of some sort and, and meat and potatoes. I'd probably get that. But um, They have good sushi. Yeah. Um, Michael goes there, and, and I mean, he, there was a lot of great wine that you could get. I, I'm not a drinker. But, yeah, he, there was a lot of um, wine, that, nice wine that you could get. And... Um, but for me, the California Grill is, uh, is a place for um, the atmosphere um, and, and, the, uh, and the view is, is incredible. So um, that's why California Grill is on my list. Good one. I have a feeling it's going to be on yours too. We'll see. Um, my number three, if you watched our top three resorts video, which if you didn't watch our top three resorts video, here it comes. Go watch that. Um, we love the boardwalk, and so there's a restaurant on the boardwalk called The Flying Fish. I have only eaten there one time. Tyson and I went and ate because the food there is pretty... Fantastic. Um, exquisite. That night, Shaylin and Matt had, like, pizza, <laughs> and Tyson and I went to The Flying Fish. Anyway, the, every single thing that I put in my mouth at that restaurant was... Corn. Life-changing. My favorite being <laughs> the corn. <laughs> Like, how does corn taste amazing? I can't even begin to tell you. I could have eaten just a big bowl of corn. But it was amazing. And I'm not a seafood lover. I don't really like seafood at all. And they had plenty on their menu. That was just, it was so good. I cannot wait to go back. So, 
My number three is flying fish. Best scallops I've ever had. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excellent. All right, what you got, number three? My number three is Hoopty Doo Review at Fort Wilderness. The reason I, I uh, picked this one is um, it has a fantastic show while you eat. Um, the great scenery, uh, very wilderness y <laughs> vibe. Rustic? Rustic. Yeah. Um, anyway, my favorite part about that is where they slam the bucket of chicken right in front of you. <laughs> the waiters are hilarious. The show is great. And yeah, that is my number three. Great. Shailen, what's your number three? My number three is Ohana at. Um, the Polynesian. Yeah, the Polynesian. I went brain dead for a second. Um, I'm a picky eater, so I'm not the biggest fan of the food, um, but I like the Hawaiian culture throughout the entire restaurant. Um, also, I like how they can keep little kids like into it because they have like little games for them. It's just such a beautiful place, so that's my number three. Thank you. Two for me. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna go hoop de doo. Um, especially if you're like in a bigger group, it's it's even more fun. The the food, the fried chicken and the cornbread and you know potatoes and green beans or corn or something like that. And then you can't forget the strawberry shortcake. Sure. Um, no, it's uh, and the, the show is awesome. The performers are are um, incredible. I mean that's a that's a must do if if you if you haven't done hoop de doo review you got to do it and they do a couple of shows a day I think like two or three so um, yeah just the whole you know entertainment value and um, food's right up my alley <laughs> so you know every, and everybody's a performer the, um, piano player and banjo or guitar and and like Tyson said. The, uh, the wait, the waiters and waitresses, that they're they're a part of the show too. So it's um, um, it's a must do. Guess what my number two is. Hoop de doo. Aww. I mean, we've already kind of said all the things, but like Matt mentioned, I when we go to Hoop de doo, I never have to worry about Matt not liking the food <laughs> because <laughs> fried chicken, and cornbread, and taters. <laughs> I know he's going to be happy. And... I, I suck. I love you. Um, they have unlimited sangria. So that's kind of fun. Included in the price. Um, yes, and of course, I'm a musical theater junkie. And I I mean, to eat that yummy food while people are singing and dancing and performing in front of you. And it's the longest running dinner show that opened when Disney World opened, I believe. It's been around forever. And so it's got kind of that campy, old school appeal. The campgrounds opened when Disney World opened, I think right? so, yeah. So we might do, need to do some research, but I think that show has been around since Disney World opened. And so, again, like it's an old-fashioned show, but the actors do such a great job of keeping it contemporary feel yeah. while still maintaining the traditional story. Like, it's just... It's so great. And... Um, be, be forewarned that they do pull people out of the audience to participate, and that is you always don't. a goal of mine, but I know some people don't enjoy that experience, so just don't make eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who did you do? Oh, plus, the vibe at Fort Wilderness. Like, you could take a boat over for Magic Kingdom, yeah. hang out on the beach, there's horse stables right there, there's... I mean, it's just such a beautiful place just to hang. If you like camping, it's just got that campground vibe. And and then you go have your show, and you can take the boat right back to Magic Kingdom. It's pretty cool. That's my number two. My number two is California Grill. Food is just a 10. Best sushi I've ever had, uh, honestly. Uh, the view is a 10. That's why I have it on my number two. Um, it's honestly... The reason why I love Disney World, just the view, it just like my dad said, it's where he really fell in love with Disney. Um, just the view, it makes me really, makes me want to go back every single time. So, yeah, uh, uh, it, it just went over to a, a renovation 
probably like six, five years ago, and it's it's gorgeous. Food's great. It's a it's great amazing. date night restaurant too. Yes. If you want to get dressed fancy and have a date, it's great for grown ups. The food is exquisite. And you can watch fireworks from up top yeah. there from Magic. And, and they turn off all the lights and have the music in there, it's awesome. It's a good one. Good one. Shaylin, what's your number two? My number two is Olivia's by <laughs> from um, Old Key West. Um, I just love how homey it feels. Um, it is because we've been to Old Key West so many times. I just have it in my head all like not all the time, but like whenever we think of um, restaurants at resorts, I'm just like Olivia's. I can see it right there. The food's great, the workers are great too, and it's just, it's such a good restaurant, so. All right. Should the three of us say our number one on the count of three? <laughs> yep. One, two, three. Oh, oh Anna. Anna. All right, Matt, get us started. <laughs> we did not, by the way, we didn't share that answer. We just assumed we all had the same one. Uh, Ohana is um, it's a dangerous restaurant. <laughs> At Very the Polynesian dangerous. Resort, just yep. a reminder. Yeah. Dangerous. They obviously it's a it's a Polynesian atmosphere. Um, they just bring you food, and and you don't really don't order it. I'm, I'm sure if you want something, you, you can order that. But um, they just br start bringing you food, and um, and it's eat as much as you want. <laughs> um, and do you want more shrimp? And they bring skillet skewers. Skewers, thank you. Mm -hmm. just, how many do you want? Uh, give me the whole shoom. Chicken, bam, steak, boom, you know, and I'll let Susie talk about the peanut sauce, but, um, <laughs> and the poppers there, but the food is awesome. Um, guy comes around and plays music. Kids can kind of walk around with, uh, you know, some shakers and kind of, they, they really don't make it a luau because they have something else for that, but, you know, they... They sing music and stuff, but it's dangerous because you leave and you're stuffed. You know, like, like sickeningly stuffed. Yeah, <laughs> and you don't want to stop eating because it's so good. it's good. And then they bring the dessert out. The dessert, yeah, you're already stuffed. But you can't not eat the dessert. <laughs> yeah, it's it's awesome. Well, you, you guys can take it from here. Okay, but. all right. Yeah, I'll just add on to that that the atmosphere is so festive and fun, and so the waiters they come over and they call you cousin. Yeah. Hey, cousin. Um, like your Shaka. family, Shaka cousin, Shaka cousin, and, um, yeah, you don't spend a lot of time looking at menus and yes, I'll have this. It, they just start bringing food. Like it's just Which I love. so festive. Um, so when you have a big group, it's fun because you can be loud. If you have a small group, it's still fun because the, the cast members make it like you're a part of their family too. Um, Matt mentioned the peanut sauce, which my... Yes, all the food is amazing, but the pot stickers and peanut sauce, I could eat until the day I die, like yes. every day. It's so delicious. And then the dessert is this bread pudding ice with cream. ice cream and caramel sauce on top. Like they come Sorry. and pour in the caramel. It's so good. <laughs> um, yeah, so the food, like there's not a bad thing there, except I don't eat shrimp, so whatever. But steak, chicken, like so good. And yeah, you roll yourself out of there. You want to add anything else to all that Ohana talk? Everything they said, and it's basically a regular buffet, but on steroids. <laughs> um, and you don't have to get up to get it, they bring yeah. it to you. Uh, and uh, a tip on that is eat like a bowl of cereal in the morning, and then don't eat anything all day <laughs> until Ohana. That's my tip. And the, the warm washcloths. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're like, your face is a mess from eating all it, and they give you these hot washcloths. And just, <laughs> it's perfect. Yeah, if we could, if we could get into Ohana every trip. We would. Oh, yeah. We, would, we yeah. would eat there. It's our favorite. They do a uh, character breakfast there too. Yes, yeah, so I was gonna say our Ohana love is for dinner. We've yeah. done the character breakfast. It's fine. Like the food, other than the lily koi juice, which is delicious. Oh yeah. Um. The breakfast is meh for me. I mean, it's Lilo and Stitch. They come to your table and everything. But for us, it's dinner. Oh, and I forgot. Oh, my gosh. I almost forgot. At Ohana, you can get the Lapu Lapu. There it is. <laughs> which is the drink that comes in a pineapple. I don't know what's in it. Vodka and something. But they bring it in the pineapple. And it's so good. And sometimes we call it the Loopy Loopy. 
because <laughs> it's a big drink. <laughs> yeah, and they also have free refills of Diet Coke. <laughs> that's a, so that's I almost forgot cool. that, too. Okay. Well, Eyeball Shailen, what's your number one? <laughs> My number one is hoop de doo review. Um, because I'm such a theater person, musical theater person, I just like how I can eat my food and then enjoy a funny, um, amazing show with just, it's amazing food. Um, cause sometimes if it's just like a sit down restaurant with nothing there, it's just, how was your day today? The weather's great today. Um, but just enjoying a show is just my kind of thing. Just enjoying a show is fun. So that's my number one. Excellent. Well, I have an honorable mention. I'm actually shocked Shaylin didn't say it. It would be Chef Mickey's. Well, Chef Mickey's is at the Contemporary Resort. It's a character buffet. And I would put on my list. We haven't done it in a while. But I would recommend breakfast there. I think I remember the last time I did it. Was when you insulted Donald. What? <laughs> Wait. That is a great story. Okay, so at um, Chef Mickey's, it's the Fab <laughs> Five characters that come around. There's a big buffet, and again, breakfast. Well, they serve all the meals. Yeah. I just prefer the breakfast buffet. Yeah. It's just, and it's cheaper. Um, but yeah, there was one time, it was the three of us. It was Tyson's birthday. I think she oh, was okay. still a baby, and we left her with my sister. Oh, right. That was, it, yeah, that was How dare and, you? Um, Donald walked by, and I said so quietly, oh my gosh, he's so short. Because it was like the shortest dog. Donald was feeling <laughs> short that day. And I wouldn't in a million years think that Donald heard me, but oh, he did. And he just whipped around. <laughs> that was awesome. And then when it was his turn to come over and like meet with us. <laughs> awesome. Uh, you know, I got a lot of the hands and, you know, of course, Donald was super sweet to Tyson. But then I was like, oh, can I get a picture with you? And then Donald was sweet. Yep, and I put my arm around him, and, and that went one, two, th three. This was before cell phone pictures. It was the digital picture that you hit the button, there was a flash, but then there was a time delay yeah. kind of thing, yeah. if we remember what those were. And it was brilliant. So I had our little digital camera. I hit the button. There's the flash. And I'm smiling with Donald. But the picture comes after it, if you remember. And all of a sudden, Donald did one of these. Like, and it was right on her face. And the glove was right in her face and came down. And then he walked away like, bye. I was like, oh! I, was, I went nuts. Because he did, I was like, And it was like, holy cow, I couldn't believe that he did that. It was so funny. It was awesome. He definitely let me know he was not happy with my We have. We also have one comments. of our her favorite pictures was Shaylin from Chef Mickey's. That's where she met her first character. Was it um, Goofy? It was Goofy. Is that picture? It's up Is that the one you're talking about? It's up there. It's right here. This one? I think, yeah. I think, I this was, I, was that the one on their website for a while? Oh, that's another one. Okay, so there's two with Shaylin. So this was the first character meeting, and that was when Goofy used to be in the front. He didn't come around and go to table to table. He just hung out, and you kind of met him on your way in. But the, uh, that same meal, Chippendale. Okay. I was going to guess Minnie, but I was wrong. Oh, it was Minnie. No, Chippendale. I mean, all the characters, because she was only six months old. So she was in her little pumpkin seat while we were eating. And all the characters just went nuts over her. And at one point, I was feeding her with a bottle. And it was Chip or Dale. I'll have to see if I can dig up the picture and put it in here. But came over and took the bottle out of my hand and started feeding her. Wait, really? Oh, yeah. Um, and that picture ended up on a Disney website somewhere. I don't know. I did not know that. And that was back in the day. Like, you couldn't, they didn't have hashtags. I don't know. I submitted it for something. Right. And it ended up being used. But it, yeah, I'll see oh, if I can track website? it down. Mm -hmm. I did not know that. Yeah, some photographer. <laughs> I, thought there was, I thought there was a picture with Shannon with the biggest smile on her face. And I thought it was Minnie. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Okay, okay maybe. maybe that's the one too. Like, yes, because Minnie's there and Shannon's just that. Maybe that was the one that was on the website. I think you're right. You're right. All right, we're getting off track. Sorry, no, so many great stories. Yeah. Yeah. Chef Mickey's, especially if you have kids, it's such a great way to meet the characters. They are incredible. They come around and they're funny and the food is great. So, anyone else have an honorable mention for oh, a resort? Someone should say something about Whispering Canyon. Oh, whisper oh, that's not my honorable mention, but someone should. The Whispering Canyon Cafe 
at Wilderness, Wilderness Lodge. Yeah, at Wilderness Lodge. Don't um, ask for ketchup. Don't ask for ketchup? Always ask for ketchup. <laughs> um, it is the best experience. I think we were at breakfast, and I just like, can we get ketchup? And then what they do is they like ring a bell, and then from the last table who had all the ketchup, there's like 20 bottles of ketchup, and they bring it to your table. It is the funniest thing. Yeah, it's one of those restaurants where if you're up for playing around, they'll play around with you. Like where mm -hmm. the servers will be borderline rude, but in a funny way, you know, like mm -hmm. down home, you know. One time, well, Matt drinks a lot of Diet Coke. I don't know if you guys know this about him. So he had his little mason jar of Diet Coke, which of course was drained in about eight seconds. And so they bring over this huge was, jar with a big. straw that was like eight feet tall. I got on a chair to try to... Yeah, he stood it. on a chair to try to get to the top of the straw. Like, just fun stuff if, you know, if you want to play. And I, and I think at that restaurant, if you don't want to play, you can act, there's like a little thing on the table you can flip over. So they'll just treat it like a regular restaurant experience, I, I think. We haven't been there in a while, but that's a good one. We should go again. Yeah, Shailen loved the ketchup experience. Ketchup! Ketchup! We need ketchup! Do you have oh, any other ones? I, I know, I mean, you're probably shocked. Not on my list is Sana. Is that how you say it? Sana at Animal Kingdom Lodge, I'm, Kidani I'm, Village. I'm sure you're shocked that that's not on my list. Sana is amazing if you have adventurous taste buds or anything above Matt's taste buds. <laughs> <laughs> Just everyone. Um, you look at animals while you eat. They have a Narcusis bread service. Is good. Narcusis is good. Narcusis is at the Grand Floridian. My, my honorable mentions uh, the ESPN Club. Oh, ESPN. Um, and where's that? That's on the boardwalk. Tyson and I have been there during uh, an NCAA game. Um, the atmosphere can be really cool. I remember being there with Michael Clash. I think it was a game to get into the Final Four. UConn and Duke were playing. And it was one of those where every, I mean, Duke had already been winning before. So um, everybody wanted, you know, the top seed to lose. And <laughs> so everybody was voted, or was kind of rooting against Duke. Um, except for these four or five Duke guys. So um, it, was, it was awesome. It was a great game, obviously. A lot of yelling and stuff like that. And um, it, was, it, was, it was just a cool atmosphere. So they have some great pictures and some sign things. And sometimes they have a, um, a guy that comes in that um, is kind of a, runs its own, his own show, uh, has, a, has his own talk show in the, uh, in, in the restaurant. And which is kind of fun. It'll go out, do trivia, or ask some of the um, guests some questions or whatever, and play some games and stuff. But yeah, it's a cool place. All right. So those are our top threes and then some of our favorite Walt Disney World Resort restaurants. Food. So let us know what yours are, if you have any, if we left any for you, because we talked about most of them, didn't we? Excellent. All right. That's it. See ya. Bye. Picture's right there. Mm -hmm. Is There's a picture. There's a picture. That's it. Yep. That's the mini one right there. I, can I wonder if I have right. digital.